Take a look at that. Forget it. Damn fuck. What's the matter with them? Fags. Must be. Didn't even try. I can't wait till we get out of this place. We can go to the city and have lots of men. All right. Did you make peace with your mother? No. She thinks anybody who leaves this place ends up no good. But what can she do? I'm 21, and I'm going. Shh. Here they come again. Look cool. <laughs> Well, what do you make of that? They probably heard our legs don't open. Boy, do we need city life. We must be the only three virgins left in town. Two. Two virgins. Who? No. I'm not telling. We want to know. Every detail, everything. <laughs> what did it feel like? Where did you do it? Why didn't you tell us? Well, I kind of, I really didn't. It was great. Oh, how <laughs> I can't believe you. I guess I didn't know what you think. Tell us about it, Susie. You know. Please, come on. Okay, okay. Um. He touched me here. Uh huh. <laughs> and then he kind of touched me all over. <laughs> Until I was delirious. Oh. And I begged him, please put it in. Oh, I can't stand it. I can't wait. <laughs> You're not going out without this on, young lady. And that's final. Yes, Daddy. I'll be back in a minute. Hey, wait a minute. Hi, can I uh, have you? Can I help you? <laughs> yes, I'd like these in a size six, please. Five, six. Okay, have a seat. And I'll be right back. Thanks. Hey, Toots, I, I don't think these are the right size. No, no, look, see, they fit fine. Come here. Very nice on you. Very nice. Come on, walk with them. I'll be right back. These are very pretty shoes. Can you take them off? Huh? I'd like to see something else. Oh, um, yeah, sure. Uh, the ones next to those on the display. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Ooh. Hey, buddy! Shh, I'll be right there. These are too small. Harry, boss, I got Harry. it. Harry, got it, boss. I got it. I know what I'm doing. All right, boss. Um, these, they, they um, these, these look fantastic. They are too small. No, no, they're, they're made to stretch. See, stretch. Such. Okay. You don't want it any bigger, honestly. Fine, try to see. Hi. Where were we? Huh. They're nice. Beautiful. Maybe you could show me something a little nicer? Huh? Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. In the back room. I'm sure I can show you something nicer. Come on. Hey, this is the stock room. Yeah. Hmm. 
How's shoes fit? They're just fine, thanks. You need some more shoes? <laughs> no, no, oh. I'm fine. Cool. Uh, it's nice seeing you again, but we have to get going. Well, wait a minute, where are you going? Where are you going? I'll give you a lift. I'll take no, you. thanks, no thanks. We're really? just getting a lift for an apartment. An apartment? I know, a great apartment, right in my own building. You don't want to look here, it's too expensive. This is cheap, too, you'll love this. Really? You do? Yeah. No, great. thanks, that's okay, but we'll find something. Hey, no, 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 please, please, wait right here. I'll deliver these, I'll be right back. Sandy, no, why are you do something like that to me? Don't go away now. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Okay. So they said, bring your friends, and if they're half as good as you, we'll use them in the show, too. I've never modeled before. You get the hang of it. You better get a good night's sleep. Yeah. Me too. Us. And our first apartment. All right. <laughs> You're right. These men are used to fast women. We're going to have to be on our toes. Look who's talking. <laughs> Shauna. Shauna, right? Grant. Right. Shauna Grant. How tall are you, Shauna? Uh, about 5'7". About 5'7". How mm -hmm. tall are your shoes? Can we see your shoes from minute? They must be about 5 inches, I think. Shauna, how old are you? I'll be 20 in a week. You'll be 20 in a week? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you were going to be 19. No, I am 19. I'll be 20. Uh huh. And how long have you been a uh, a paper doll? Paper doll. A um, model, a cover girl, a centerfold. About two months. Two months. Mm -hmm. Did anybody twist your arm to get into the business? No, not at all. It was all my idea. Really? Uh huh. Uh, you like it so far? Yeah, I love it. It's fun. I Meeting well, a lot, a lot of nice people. I mean, being so young and and tall. You know, you're a little too tall, I guess, you know. They don't find you awkward. You're probably not doing too much work. Oh, no, I'm working every day. Every day. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. They got you work? Weekends and everything. Really? What magazines of uh, photographers have shot you already? I haven't come out in anything yet. I just Since I've just started, they haven't yeah, published anything. Right. But I'm coming out in Chic Hustler twice, in Club, and possibly High Society. 
um, club is twice too. What else am I coming? Cavalier, I'm coming out in. And the rest of them, I don't know where they're going. <laughs> what color are your eyes? Brown? Blue. Dark blue. blue. Dark blue. Mm -hmm. I can't see with that. Oh yeah. Oh, just take a look in there a second. I have two pictures here. Uh, who shot these? Steve Hicks shot those. That was the first shooting I ever did. The pictures aren't all that good. Okay. Can we pick this up here? Was this the first shooting you ever did? Yep, that was the first. And who's the photographer? Steve Hicks. Okay, I have this one. I want to turn this one around. It shows your breasts. Uh, nice guy, Steve. Oh yeah, good he is. Really good. I had a good time working with him. It was a lot of fun. I bet you uh, he, uh, <laughs> he didn't complain when you left, did he? No, not at all. Man, he must have thought you were a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> you are cute. What, what do you weigh? Uh, somewhere between 105 and 110. Out of all the photographers who shot you already, mm -hmm. has any of them ever gotten fresh? Not really, no. They've all been really nice. Really? Yeah. I haven't had any problems with any of them. Oh, so if they did get fresh, it didn't, then they really didn't get fresh because, I mean, it, was, it went nice. No, no, no. That's not it. Are you married? No. Uh, single? Yeah. Are you still a virgin? No. Are yeah. you kidding? <laughs> uh, when, the, how old were you when you lost your virgin? Almost 17. Almost 17. You almost lost it, or you did lose it when you were almost? I did lose it when I was almost 17. Yeah. Where, where was that? Uh, back home. Where? Small town. Small town. Yes. You don't want to tell us, right? No, you probably never heard of it anyway. <laughs> Bemidji, Minnesota. Close. <laughs> uh, where did it happen? At the drive-in. <laughs> really? Uh -huh. Are we wearing a skirt or are we wearing jeans? Jeans. I always wear jeans. You always wear jeans? Mm-hmm. What, did you slip them off? Mm-hmm. In the front seat or the back seat? Front seat. What kind of car? Uh, 1972 Chevelle. Well, did you did you just have just intercourse or did you give him head? Did he give you head? Did he give petting? Just intercourse and petting. We didn't get into the head stuff until later. Oh, it was the same person? Oh, yeah. I went out with this guy for almost five years. And why did he let you go? I let him go. Bad late. <laughs> oh, not exactly. Took, Just... you, took you five years to uh, <laughs> find out, though. Bad attitude more than a bad leg. Did he? Mm. Used to roll over and go to sleep. Not bad. But what? Not, not a sexual attitude, a bad attitude, uh, relationship-wise, not sexual. Do you bleach your hair blonde? No, natural. Because that, do you shave your, uh, your pubes at all? I used to. I'm trying to grow them back now. Really? Can I? Let's, let's see what I'm saying. You, you did shave the... Oh, a different boy. No, same one. The guy from the small town? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're not with him anymore? No. He's, he went back to Minnesota. He went from Minnesota. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. Let's see who's today. Stephanie Taylor and her friend, hmm, Shauna Graham. Oh. <sighs> See, look at that problems. She has some kind of dream problem here. Hmm. Date is on so Ah! I'm Miss Taylor. Hello, Dr. Kaiser, so we're late. Have a seat. You must be Miss Grant? Yeah, hi, Dr. Kaiser. Have a seat. Sit over there, next to your friend. Okay. My name is Dr. Kaiser. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Ah, nice to see you again, man. Nice to see you. Can I get a kiss? Hello? Come on. Friends for a long time, you know? I've heard. Alrighty, so, uh, well, the reason why you're both here together is because it seems to me that people usually, they take the therapy better when they realize that they're not the only ones who have a problem. You realize that misery loves company. You see what I'm saying? You're not alone in this world, that we all have problems, and 
best I could do is try to bring it out and help you realize where it's coming from. And basically using the Gestalt technique, I draw you into the conclusion and help you solve it yourself. So, which one of you would like to talk first? You have a new problem now, right? Well, it's the same one. Well, actually, what is it? Tell me about it. Not being able to reach an orgasm, you know, not really having any sexual fantasies. You don't have sexual fantasies? Not really, no. I what know. do you mean? What do you dream about at night? I don't know, work, school, same old thing, you know? You dream about work and school? And the same old, th I have to write that down. <laughs> work in school. And you don't have any kind of more exciting dreams than that? No. Dull, huh? Real dull. Oh, and she brought you down today. What's, uh, what's your problem? Like, why, why are you here? My problem is more, is like completely opposite from hers. I have too many fantasies. I dream at night about men. But dream I don't, man. I don't see the men. I see, I see just their cocks. And I'm always Wait, wait, wait. You just see their cocks. Right. Describe them. Are they what color? Big, small, erect, soft, flaccid? Yeah. They're al they're always hard. Always hard. Some are big, some are small. Usually it's it's one of each or three or four. It's, it's always a variety. Three or four. I've Sounds had like a locker up room. to five yeah. or six. Five or six. And okay. And are they circumcised, white, black? Make a difference? There's no difference. They're all different varieties. It's that's why it's so strange. It's not like one particular kind and and, and I, I always wake up turned on. You wake up turned on. And what do you do? Usually masturbate myself to sleep or just go to sleep, but I'm always really fresh, frustrated. I'm frustrated. Miss Grant, it's a, it's a common dream that women have, to have like just dicks coming out of all sides. I know one woman came into my office a few weeks ago when had these dreams that she was in a uh, a bathhouse or a sauna or a steam room and not seeing men, just towels and the men pick up their towels and she just sees cocks. Loads and loads of cocks and she's putting one in her mouth, here, there. It's, it's a common dream. It's, I don't know what you're it's quite, quite a dream. Quite, exci <laughs> quite exciting. Yeah. Did, but I... Let's see how she uh, models. Show us what you do. Come on. We treated to this a little bit. Well, what would you like me to do? Show us how you model. I got, stay, come here, stay over here, honey. Now, Wolf's gonna be like, um, I guess photographers or something, or will be the audience? No, it's usually just a camera and a photographer. Okay, where are the camera and photographer? Show us me now. Sure, let me see some of those, yeah. My goodness. Are you wearing any underwear? Of course not. Not the time, no? <laughs> Yeah, like, can you just do one more stoop over? Yeah, like right there against the pressure. Real slow. And uh, you're saying that you, after you finish watching these things, usually you masturbate. Mm -hmm. Watch on the seat. Come on over. If, uh, now you'd like to learn a little how to fantasize, right? Why don't we just for a minute watch how she masturbates?
like this room. <clears throat> this is my playroom. Oh yeah, it's really large. It's large enough. Yeah. Do you mind if I get a little more comfortable? Sure, why not? Are you sure? I don't mind. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if, what if uh, your husband comes down? I'd be for at least another hour. Oh my god. Huh. I like it. I thought you would. Oh jeez. What do you think? Really nice. Shannon. Right. Beautiful, yeah, beautiful teeth, beautiful lips. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful. Are you into oral sex? Mm hmm Yeah. You like getting, uh, be you like being eaten or getting hit or... Yes, I do. Really? Mm hmm You have a sensitive uh, clearance? Or when yeah. When the guy comes? Yeah. That isn't something you just start out doing, I guess. No, I just mm -hmm. never really figured out anything else to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> You're beautiful. Have I Thank embarrassed you. you? Oh, not really. Really. You Never. didn't see me blushing, did you? <laughs> no. It's a, a love act, not so much a lust act. I'm not, I don't consider myself sleazy or cheap. I like to make love to someone rather than screw someone or whatever. When you're in front of the camera shooting for these photographers, does it physically excite you knowing that millions of people are going to look at those pictures and masturbate over them? Jack off men and women and couples are gonna get physically turned on. Sometimes I think about it and I when when I think about it during the shooting, it's like all these people are looking at me, it kind of you know gives you a rush. It's neat. It's I mean, but you know it's getting them hot and horny. Oh yeah. That's what I'm there for. When you say it gives you a physical rush, it's neat. What does that mean? I I get turned on by it sometimes. It's it depends on the shooting. If I'm in a good mood during a shooting, then I do. But if I'm not into the shooting, then it's like no big deal. I'm not of all the shooting, pictures. And of all the shootings you did in how many months? Two months? Mm hmm Which shooting turns you on the most? I did one for Easy Rider. I forgot to tell you that one. Uh, about a week ago. I had the most fun at that one. That was the presents do I have, huh? Could, could you just show our, our viewing people what your breasts look like in, like, live? Sure. Is there a hook back there? No. No? no? Mm -hmm. Baseball? I think we're going to get together tomorrow and have a, a little card party or something. Oh, yeah? Well, mm -hmm. great. Well, uh, me and the guys from the office were thinking of maybe coming on over before we go out and play some golf and maybe meet a few of the, uh, the girls that are, that are coming on over. You know that, uh, what is her name? Uh, um, Cody? Cody, yeah. That's, uh, she's a friend of Mona's. So I thought that we'd invite her over, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mona's the one with the uh, big uh, mm. kaboongas. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nice lady. Small. We went shopping the other day. She does have very large bosoms, yes. Yeah, I'm going to have to uh, get to know her a little better. Anyhow, what time are you planning on having them over? Oh, I figured around lunchtime. Oh, good. Yeah, well, I'll stop by and get a bite to eat before we uh, continue. Would you like me to make a lunch for everybody tomorrow? Sounds good, yeah. What are you reading? The Glitter Dome. The Glitter Dome? Mm -hmm. Joseph Wamba. Oh. Very right, good. Yeah. You look great. Thank you. As usual. Been very, very horny. I didn't know you knew Cody. That's. Did you meet her through Mona? Uh. <laughs> yes. We. Uh, well, I was outside, you know, watching the car, and she came on over, and uh, I uh, was introduced by. By her from. Uh, Mona. What do you think of Mona? Do you think she's nice? Oh, definitely. I do. What do you think of her? I think she's sweet. She's a doll. Yeah, she's all right. But I'd like, like I said, I'd like to uh, get to know her. What do you mean, get to know her? Well, you know, just uh, a casual, rather than a casual acquaintance, I would say uh, oh, a little more of an intimate affair. An intimate affair? I can't imagine you having sex with Mona. Mm. Well, I don't know. There's just something about her. I... What would you like to do with her? Uh, the fucker tits. That would be interesting. <laughs> In fact, you could even watch it. Mm. Okay.